So 2020 um, was a very bad year for me and I really hope it wasn't a bad year for you. Um, it started with a quarantine and it was a period where I couldn't see my friends anymore. Um, I couldn't see my relatives. And as you guys know, I couldn't see my grandmother, which was pretty much like a mother to me because she raised me for the formative years of my life because my parents were working 11, 12 hours a day. So uh, like many Romanians, I, I was raised by my grandmother and she is the one that uh, uh, helped kickstart my education. Um, and then the economic problems happened uh, and it, it doesn't seem like it's, it's going to go uh, good for my country. A lot of people that I know are getting laid off. Uh, my parents are worried about uh, their security. My, my dad is unemployed right now. So, yeah, uh, my, my point is that uh, I just found out my grandmother passed away and I expected this. Um, I managed to get a list a couple of weeks early warning. So I managed to, you know, as, as much as it is possible to put yourself into the position of expecting the inevitable. Um, I think for her, at least the good thing is that she doesn't have to suffer anymore because you know, she was in a lot of pain with terminal cancer and um, she was also very distraught in a way because she asked the doctor why isn't her family visiting her and the reason that was is because it was against the rules. Um, the government uh, made it so that you can't visit other patients during this time and, and I kind of understand why I mean we are talking about cancer patients uh, people that have depressed immune systems um, and they just can't afford the risk of someone from the outside coming in and uh, bringing a virus um, so, so I, I get the rationale behind it but it's still very painful um, and this is why I wanted to make this video to, to let you guys know why there was no video today and um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload the video tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to try my best uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, it helps me get my mind uh, out of this. And two, um, it's also the algorithm of YouTube. If you don't upload, then uh, you, you get uh, less subscribers. And, you know, I, I want to I wanna help my family right now because there's, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, a financial... Uh, difficulty uh, and I want to do the best I can in order to pitch in um, by the way I, I don't I don't ask for any donations like do not uh, you know uh, give me uh, money right now because of this uh, I'm not this is not something e-begging um, like only uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what I do and you, you genuinely uh, appreciate the things that I do but other than that like no th this is not the video where, where I'm trying to gather sympathies or whatnot what, what I am trying to, to repeat the message that I said in the previous video uh, make sure that you visit your grandparents like seriously I regret not seeing her more often I, I, I definitely like this is the, the regret that I'm going to have to live with and I found out, like, again, you know, it's, it's not just me seeing her. It's, it's the fact that it was for her because she was at the hospital and she asked the doctor. It's like, why, why aren't her family coming over to see her? And that was, like, really painful when I found out. Uh, and the doctor explained it to her, but I don't know how much she understood considering that uh, she was a little bit uh, affected by her illness regarding the cognitive abilities. So, yeah. Um, but if, if I'm not going to upload the video tomorrow, you know why, I mean, life has to go on, you know, it's like a job just because, uh, a loved one passed away. doesn't mean you don't go to work. Right. Um, and I, I hope that at least I can contribute enough to make other people happy and, uh, to get people to manage to pass through this very difficult year that doesn't seem to, uh, stop giving us gifts I, I i mean this year man like i i don't think i i've ever seen a year as bad as this um 
And in a way, I'm kind of being spoiled, I guess, because at least it's not like my grandparents, you know, going through a world war or anything like that. But it still sucks. I mean, yeah, the the economy looks bleak. Um, the I, I know families being destroyed by polarizing ideology. Um, the mainstream media is cherishing the fact that kids on TikTok are calling out their parents. And there was even like this Republican which wanted to go for an election in his state and his own daughter disavowed him and asked people not to vote for his dad it's like that you know you, you get to see these things and i i i want to tell people it's like you you don't know what you have and what you're throwing away you know like family relations are really important you don't understand it until you lose someone I, I generally do not understand. I mean, in a way, maybe I do because, you know, all of these people are teenagers and they haven't gone through life to the point where you realize that whenever you have some problems, like whenever you have genuine issues, it's your family that's going to be the first that will step up to the occasion to help you out. It's your family that are going to be there for you. It's your family that are going to um, try to get you out of a ditch. And yeah, sure, you, you have friends and you have other people that are willing to help every now and then. But when it comes when push comes to shove, it's usually your family that you can rely on. And th that's why your family is so important. So, you know, if you're listening to this and you're having like some family differences, like try to be the better person and um, fix these issues. Like try to be the better person and, and try to make that step. I remember when ideology didn't use to break apart families. I mean... I used to have an uncle that was incredibly religious. He was obnoxious in judging other people, giving Bible quotes at every family gathering and whatnot. And the way we managed to get past that was to just like say, it's like, look, we're not talking about religion now. Like, let's talk about something else. And you would put like that ideology away and you manage to have like a normal conversation. And it's so depressing to see so many mainstream media outlets and clips of university professors and bloggers and influencers saying stuff like when you go to Thanksgiving, if your relative says something racist, then just flip the table, just knock a glass of wine to cause a scene and get out of there. I think Anita Sarkeesian said something similar. And it's like, man, you know, like <laughs> your mother probably worked really hard for that Thanksgiving dinner and that's how you repay her. I mean, this, this whole idea that you should be a part of your family because of ideology. That's that's not a good any any ideology, any anything that says something like that is not good. It's you should reject it out of hand. Yeah, it's something you should definitely not agree with. Um because again, you are going to realize no matter how bad parents you have, I mean maybe there are some exceptions, but overall, no matter how bad they are, when you have a problem when you're going to be stuck in the ditch, it's it's your family that's going to try to get you out. Because um, it is what it is. And that doesn't mean like you shouldn't care about your friends or you shouldn't care about um, other people. But like try to prioritize your family. Like they should be the number one. I don't want to hammer this point over and over. But it's goddamn like when, when you reach my age, you'll realize that it's true. You know, I don't, I don't want to seem sanctimonious. I don't want to... I, I guess I try to tell people how to live their lives, but like if there's one piece of advice that I could give to other people like this is the most important one, uh, especially your close relatives, you know, your mom, your dad, your grandparents. Um, it's what it matters. So, you know, uh, don't be like me. Uh, go and visit your, your old ones because I'm telling you, like my grandma, she was definitely okay in January. Uh, she came to visit. She approved of my girlfriend. Everything was fine. And then two months later, uh, she got sick. And it's just like that. So, yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I'll still make videos. Uh, I, I need to make videos to get my mind off of it. And I want to make sure that you guys understand how much you mean to me. I know it sounds really lame. 
and you probably heard other youtubers say stuff like that um and it sounds detached but in reality i genuinely care because when this first happened when the news hit me that she has cancer um you guys actually managed to cheer me up it was the people on my live stream that um uh, sent me their condolences uh it was the people uh that contacted me in dms and on discord and uh gave me your kind thoughts and it genuinely helped especially now because of the quarantine that i can't go out i can't see my relatives i couldn't um see my friends and getting messages from people that I know have been since I started this channel, uh, giving me their warm wishes and prayers. Uh, and then see people that I don't recognize and saying, Hey, I never messaged you before, but you know, I, I get what you're going through and then sharing me some of their stories that really helped out. Um, I don't know, maybe it sounds ridiculous, but it did, you know, it's usually the fact that you see like a computer screen and it's just some letters on it. Maybe there's like the disconnect from the, the human emotion and whatnot. But uh, at least for me in the, the situation that I am in right now, it, it actually did matter. So I want to thank you for that. And I appreciate for this community and the, the fact that I know that what I'm doing cheers people up and manages to keep people entertained. And that means a lot for me. You know, it, it means that I am making a very small difference. So when someone comes from their work tired and uh, depressed and, you know, like filled with all the baggages from what goes on in the real world, uh, you get to tune in to people like myself or, you know, my channel, hear some news and get a little bit of a smile that, that means the world to me. So thank you for your continuous support. Um, I'm sorry I, I couldn't come up with a better video today, but I'll try to make something more interesting tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the comment sections. Take care.